Welcome to Electro Online, and here's another example of how to solve a first order exact differential equation. Here it is xy prime plus y plus 4 equals 0. There's the general format of the exact differential equation, and let's go ahead and start solving it again. By watching different kinds of examples, it will help, under, you know, help enhance the understanding of how to do these types of problems. So let's replace y prime by what y prime is equal to, which is dy dx plus y plus 4 equals 0. Now we need to make it look like this general format like this. So the best way to do that is to go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by dx. So let's go ahead and do that. So we multiply the left side by dx. We multiply the right side by dx. And so this becomes x times dy plus the quantity y plus 4 times dx is equal to 0. Now we're not quite there yet because notice we have dx first and then dy second, so I'm going to replace, interchange those and write this as the quantity y plus 4 times dx plus x times dy is equal to 0. And now I have the exact same format as I have over there with a being y plus 4 and b being equal to x. So now let's go ahead and try to solve the problem. And so we can say that the integral or that u, the general solution, is equal to the integral of a times dx plus some function, because we have a constant of integration, and since y is equal to a constant, because remember when we took the partial derivative with respect to x, we let y be a constant, the constant of integration will be some function, oops, let me use the letter k, some function of y. All right, so now a is equal to y plus 4, so we can say that u is equal to the integral of y plus 4, times dx plus a constant of integration, which is going to be some function of y. Remember here we're leaving y to be a constant, so this is a constant plus a constant times dx, so this could be written that u is equal to uh, y times x, or maybe better yet, we'll just write as y plus 4 times x plus some, some function of y. Now the question is, what is this function of y? Well, we can probably figure it out by saying if we take the partial derivative of this with respect to y, partial derivative of u with respect to y, we should get b, and b is equal to 4. Um, no, I'll take that back. Right here, b is equal to x, because this is a, so this quantity here is a, this quantity here is b, so since b is equal to x, we could say b, which is equal to x, is equal to the partial of u with respect to y, and therefore, if we take the partial of u with respect to y, which is u right here, then we should get, then we set that equal to x. So this is equal to the partial of u, oh, the partial of this quantity right here, which is y plus 4 times x plus k, a function of y. All right. So since we take the partial with respect to y, hmm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to change that to writing this as uh, x times y plus 4 times x. That's better. So I just distribute the x on the y and the 4. So when I now take the partial with respect to y, so x will be a constant in this case, so this will be equal to x plus 4x is just a constant, so when I take the partial with respect to y, you get 0, and plus the partial with respect to y of the function k of y. All right, and that has to be equal to x. So from this, I can say that x is equal to x plus the partial with respect to y of the function k of y. And notice, since I have an x on both sides, this then implies that 0 is equal to the partial with respect to y of that unknown function k of y. And if this is equal to 0, then the integral of both sides means that k of y is equal to some constant, call it c1. All right, if I then go back here where I found the solution, I found the solution which is equal to u, and I realize now that this is equal to a constant, so therefore from here I can then conclude that u is equal to, uh, we call it xy plus 4x plus some constant. 
And then, of course, I remember that u itself must be a constant if this is an exact differential equation. So therefore, we can say that some other constant, c2, is equal to x, y, plus 4x, plus some constant. I can combine those two constants, and I could then simply say that x times y plus 4x is equal to a constant. Or, if you then factor out an x, you could say that x times y plus 4 is equal to a constant. And sometimes you can go ahead and solve this for y, but there's a lot of different ways in which you can solve, write the final solution. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you prefer. And so going back, we say that if we start with any equation that's an exact differential, you can solve it by taking the integral of either a or b with respect to x or y. And then, of course, we have the constant of integration, which is a function of either x or y, depending upon which variable remains constant. And that's how we solve first-order differential equations that are of the exact differential type. That's how it's done.